Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now this phone will be available April 29th from OnePlus.com, Amazon, T-Mobile, and wait for it, Verizon. Yes, you heard that right. This phone will be sold on Verizon. Now the price for 128 gigs is 900 bucks and 256 gigs, 1,000 bucks. Now I know what y'all getting ready to say. For a thousand bucks, this phone better have every feature, and guess what? It does. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now the phone comes in three different colors. You got Onyx Black, Glacier Green, and Ultramarine Blue. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 3168 by 1440. Now that's 513 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 3, HDR10+, and check this out. You got a 120 hertz refresh rate with 240 hertz touch sampling, which works while Quad HD is activated. Ladies and gentlemen, Samsung has left the chat. Now the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 with the Adreno 650 GPU. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now it's running Android 10 with Oxygen OS skin on top. Comes with either 8 or 12 gigs of LP DDR5 RAM. You got 128 or 256 gigs of storage. No micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got a 4,510 milliamp battery that features Warp Charge 30T. So that means 23 minutes of charge will give you 50% battery. Now the phone also features wireless charging. Now OnePlus sells a 30 watt wireless charger that will charge your phone in 30 minutes to 50%. Now check this out. The phone also has reverse wireless charging. All right, now that's the cherry on top. Shout out to OnePlus. They really went all in on this one. For the cameras, on the rear you got a quad setup. So you got a 48 megapixel Sony sensor, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, an eight megapixel telephoto, and a five megapixel color filter. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you also got dual stereo speakers that feature Dolby Atmos. You got Bluetooth 5.1, Wi-Fi 6, NFC. You got face unlock, an on-screen fingerprint sensor, and the phone is 5G capable. So this is a five gangster right here. So what's missing from my flagship checklist? Nothing. Now I do have two petty gripes. Number one, no headphone jack. That shit's whack, hashtag bars, and no always on display. Those are my two petty gripes. Now I know what you're saying. Why are you even bringing that up? This is why. OnePlus 6T, headphone jack, always on display. All right, so OnePlus, if y'all watch this video, y'all might not bring back the headphone jack, but always on display, we need that on an Android phone. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. Shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Now, of course, this is the reviewer's box. So it's a little bit more fancy. Never settle. Let's see what it is. Okay. Nice little sleeve right there. Okay, so far we got a nice presentation alert. Here we go. All right, so let's see. First, we got a couple of cases. Oh, yeah, we got the carbon fiber. That's what I'm talking about. And we got the uh, sandstone bumper case. We'll check those out in a second. This is gonna be your phone. Make sure there's no secret compartments. All right, that's it. OnePlus 8 Pro. Now y'all see the red theme, I love that. Let's see, this is ultramarine blue, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. Let's grab a little unboxing knife. Got Spider-Man on deck. Right. And ladies and gentlemen, late but still great. White Shoes is back in the building. White shoes. white shoes, calm down. All right, here we go. OnePlus 8 Pro, back to business. Okay. All right, shoes is in rare form today, y'all. See, I gotta bear with me. Let's see, I seen a little open tab somewhere. Okay, I just missed that. Here we go, OnePlus 8 Pro. Now look at that, you see the little eight come out the side? <laughs> I don't like that. Little eight on deck. Inside. This is gonna be your 8 Pro. Let me peel that stick off in ultramarine blue. Check this out. Woo! 
All right, shoes. All right, shoes. I need you to scoot, scoot. The people want to see the phone. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells like Mystique. All right, if y'all watch X-Men, y'all know Mystique. If you happen to go on a date with Mystique and you give her a hug, this is what her neck smells like. This is so sick right here. And it has that kind of a matte frost feel to the back. So no fingerprints. Oh, I'm feeling this right here. Let's hit that power button, see if we got any juice. All right, there it is. We'll let that boot up. Let's see anything else. Now, of course, got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them. Let's see. I'm looking for my OnePlus Troll stickers. I need those. All right, there it is. We got the OnePlus Troll stickers. Okay, now they gave us a few. We got the Instagram. My friends, so smooth, never settle, eight, never settle, one plus. This is a nice, nice little uh, <laughs> arrangement of troll stickers. That's pretty much it for inside that. Okay, now this is gonna be your Warp Charge 30T brick. 23 minutes for 50% battery. That's insane. Oh, check this out. Now we got another case. All right, let's get this plastic off. And check this out, it even says never settled on the case. All right, so we got a clear gel skin case. That's real nice. This is gonna be your USB Type-C charging cable. One of my favorite ones in the cell phone game, red with the cable management clips. And that's pretty much it. Now for the phone itself, if you notice, they got rid of the pop-up camera, which in my opinion is a good thing because the pop-up camera, even though it's pretty dope. All right, let me show you that one real quick. Even though the pop-up camera is pretty dope, Y'all see that? I do love that. But getting rid of the pop-up camera gives you one less thing to break. Now, even though this does have full detection, but you never know when that's gonna break. And who wants to take a chance of breaking your camera and your phone is pretty much worthless? All right, so here's the 7, 7RT. This is the 7T actually, versus the 8 Pro. Let's see. Basically the same size. 8 Pro is a little bit taller. And this is gonna be a one plus seven right here. Let's see. Okay, the eight pro is a little bit taller, a little bit more narrow, but it has a better feel. You're gonna love this frosty, <laughs> this frosty glacier kind of feel in the back. Oh, this is so sick. Little one press blandin. There's your quad camera setup. That's four, that's another one. That's your color filter flash. One plus on the, bo on the bottom, Brandon. There's your USB Type-C, got your SIM tray, speaker grill, mic, volume up and down, and your vibrate on and off switch. Little punch hole camera in the front, basically bezel-less display with the curved glass. Now, a lot of people don't like the curved glass because it gives you a lot of accidental touches, but if you're rocking a case on your phone, you're not gonna have that problem. But you will have it if you're rocking your phone with no case. You're going to get a lot of touch presses on the side. So that's the difference between the 8 Pro punch hole camera, motorized camera. All right, so let me call, uh, pause the video. I'll grab all my information and we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so while I'm in the process of downloading all my apps, let's take a look at the OnePlus Warp Charger 30 wireless charger. Now, this one is going to run you between 60 and 70 bucks. Okay, let's grab a little unboxing knife. Right. Here we go. Now keep in mind, this is 30 watts wireless charging. Okay. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, nice presentation on this too. Okay. So this is your Warp Charger 30 brick. It's already connected to your wireless charging stand. This kind of has that aluminum look to it, but it feels like plastic. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. All right, so I'll plug this in and we'll try it out. All right, y'all, so we'll be back in. Now I got my information in the phone, got everything all set up, so now let's test it out. First, wireless charging. 30 watt fast wireless charging. That's pretty sick. 
Now, on a side note, the wireless charger does work with any phone, and you can use any wireless charger to charge up your OnePlus 8 Pro. Next, build quality. Now, y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. I love the build quality on this. It feels so luxurious. I love that frosty back. And one of the things that I just noticed, why I love it so much, is because it feels exactly like an iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right, if you ever held 11 Pro Max, you love that build on the back. OnePlus 8 Pro has that same luxurious feel to it. Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. Not to mention, it's IP68 dust and water resistant. Now, if y'all watch my videos, you remember one of my biggest gripes about OnePlus phones is that they weren't water resistant and they didn't have wireless charging. Now you got water resistance and wireless charging, fast wireless charging, and reverse wireless charging. This is a certified beast right here. Couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. You got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which is actually one of the fastest and smoothest ones in the game. All right, y'all already know how OnePlus does. And you got face unlock. Now this face unlock is almost too fast. Watch this. Now I'm not looking at it. Bang. So now I'll do it while looking at it. Every single time. Now I'm from behind the camera. My tripod is kind of obstructing my view a little bit. And look how fast it's still opening. This is sick right here. You see, I almost, I, I didn't even get to the fingerprint screen. Now you can change that animation for the unlock. I'll show you how to do it in a second. Next, look at this display. You see that? <laughs> you see the wallpaper? That's the dynamic wallpapers, like a live wallpaper, sick. All right, basically bezel-less. Little bit of curves on it, but a beautiful quad HD display with 120 hertz refresh rate. Speaking of that, let's go through the toggles real quick. Let's see anything we need to check out. You got night mode, reader mode. Let's turn on auto rotate, 5G. This is a 5G phone actually. Let's see you got Zen mode. All right, Zen mode is perfect for right now. All right, with all of this coronavirus and all of this stuff going down, a lot of people are stressed out. Stress actually hurts your immune system. All right, so that's going to be a problem if, if you got a compromised immune system with all this virus out here. So my suggestion is once a day, turn on Zen mode and just relax and try to and try to be stress free for a few minutes. All right, so I'm going to use Zen mode a lot more now. Reverse wireless charge. All right, so let's turn that on. Let's see if this actually works. Bon, there it is. Woo! Reverse wireless charge. Now let me calm down. Now look, a lot of times, I don't really reverse wireless charge too much, but if I go to dinner with my daughter, her phone is always on 5%. So while we having dinner, no phones, I can just charge up her phone, and I can also charge my Bluetooth earbuds. Now keep in mind, Bluetooth earbuds have a small battery, so you can fully charge them up using the reverse wireless charge from your phone. That's pretty dope. Let's see, you got screen recorder, all right, and of course you got screenshots on deck. Let's see, let's go over the settings. Let's try to do this quick. Okay, so you got a uh, mobile hotspot, VPNs and private DNS. Let's see, you got Bluetooth NFC, you got screencast, Android Beam, tap and pay, printing and Chromebook. Let's go to display. Now, of course, you can turn adaptive brightness on if you want. I'll leave it off. This is max brightness. Now, I will say this, this phone is super bright. It's actually brighter than the OnePlus 7. You got your comfort tone, turn that on and off if you want. Let's go to advanced, check this out. All right, screen calibration. We got uh, vivid, natural, and advanced. All right, shoes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shoes coming in hot. Let's leave it on vivid. All right, shoes, you, shoes you're killing me right now. I'm, try I'm trying to show the people an important feature. All right, bro. All right, let's work through this. Resolution, all right? Right now it's on full HD. You can have it to auto switch to save battery. But for a thousand bucks, this shit staying on quad HD. Now here's where it gets interesting. Quad HD setting, screen refresh rate, 120. 120 and quad HD. Now check this out. You see that little punch hole camera? If you don't like that, all right, if you think that's an eyesore, 
Go to uh, front uh, ca camera display area and turn that off. Now what that's gonna do is give you a bigger bezel on the top, but at least there's no punch hole camera, no eyesore. Personally, I don't mind, I'd rather have more screen. Let's see, uh, apps to display in full screen, we don't need to do that. Let's go to uh, vibrant color effect. Now check this out. If you're watching your videos, you're gonna have to leave that on. <laughs> now, <laughs> one more thing I just noticed. A lot of people always comment and say, why are my hands shaking so much? I'm sitting with my arms um, extended as long as I can and my elbows are on the table. So if you at home, try sitting with your elbows on the table, your arms all the way stretch and hold the product in your hand. You're gonna notice it's a little bit of shakes. All right, I'm good. Don't worry about the shakes. Let's keep it moving. Motion graphics smoothing. Of course, we're gonna turn that on because we want our graphics to look nice and smooth. You got night mode, reading mode. Now, if you turn on night mode, you can adjust the color temperature. Have it mad yellow if you want. Ambient display. All right, so here's your ambient uh, display settings. Pick up the show. All right, so once you pick up the phone, your ambient display will turn on. Tap to touch the screen to show. Leave that on. Let's see, you can try control your contextual information, display name. Why not? We'll just add something real quick. New notifications, horizon light. Now, horizon light, that's kind of like a nice little touch. I know Samsung phones have the edge lighting. We got horizon light. Let's leave that in gold. Why not? I like gold. Let's keep it moving. Let's see, font size, no need to check that. Display size, y'all know what that is already. Status bar. All right, so battery, we have a circle, I like that. Let's see, um, where was we? Oh, status bar. Show battery percentage, show network speed. Okay, you can change your time format. And you got your icon manager. Let's see, anything else? Auto rotate, you got a screen saver, let's keep it moving. Customization. All right, so you got all your different wallpapers. All right, you got a few dynamic ones. Different clock styles. All right, I like that one the best. Fingerprint animation. All right, so if you want, you can have none. I like this little stripe right there. You got Ripple, Cosmos, Energy. Matter of fact, let's leave it on Energy for now. Try something different. Matter of fact, let's see, Cosmos. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it on that. Let's see, uh, accent color. Now, if you want, you can change all your different accent colors. We'll play with that later. Your tones, dark theme 2.0. So we'll activate that real quick. Bang, look at that. Now you basically got bezel-less display and you can't see that punch hole camera. You can change the shapes. Let's see, I like the, uh, let's keep it round, why not? Got your icon pack. Play with those if you want. Let's see, anything else? Where was we on the customization? Okay, and you got your fonts. That's pretty much it. Let's see, uh, sound and vibration. Dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. All right, speaking of Dolby Atmos, you got dynamic, movie, and music. Leave it on dynamic, why not? Earphone mode. All right, plug in your headphones. System sounds, touch vibrations, pretty much it. Let's see, apps and notifications, y'all don't need to see that. Screen security and screen lock. All right, so fingerprint, face unlock. You do have smart lock. No need to see that, y'all know what that is already. Screen pinning. Let's see, privacy. Blah, blah, blah. Control your ad usage. Location. Storage. Two, uh, 256 gigs on this version right here. 12 gigs of RAM. Plenty of storage available, but I haven't downloaded too much stuff yet. Accounts, y'all don't need to see that. Digital well-being. All right, now, this is important also. Everybody stuck in the house. Your scumbag levels went from five to about nine right now. Monitor your digital well-being. Try to keep your scumbag activities under 10. Let's see, you got Google services, utility, system, about phone. Okay, there it is. 12 gigs of RAM, 256, 48, 48, 85. 120, basically all of the specs. And that's pretty much it. Nice and smooth. Matter of fact, let's, um, let me pull up a video real quick so y'all can see this display and listen to these speakers. All right, so here's my usual test video. Check this out. Full screen. You hear them speakers? 
these sound great. Watch, I cover up the bottom. Look how loud that top is. Quality stereo speakers. Big, beautiful quad HD display. I love this. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Okay, look how fast that was. That silky smooth scrolling speed. This phone is serious right here. Let's check our split screen multitasking. Since we're on Apple, let's make Apple leave the chat. Multitasking on deck. So we can watch a YouTube video and shop at the same time. Let's hit play on this one. Oh, that was playing long, long start. All right, there it is. New resource types. Check this out. Alongside our free resources is our marketplace. This is sick. This is where artists and designers can open up. All right, so now let's open up a few social media apps and see how they perform on this phone. We'll start with Instagram. Look at that scrolling speed. You can't even see the pictures. All right, well, there it is. All right, let's go ahead and like that photo. Okay. Got a few follow requests. Why not? Real nice. Let's take it over to Facebook. All right, uh, RIP my man Chuck. And this is what it's going to look like when you're getting your scroll on. Okay, I know, I know. Okay, now let's take it over to the camera. Now, to open up your camera, of course, you can use your fingerprint sensor and take it over the camera. Or while the phone is locked, press the power button twice. That's your world star hip hop gesture. Bang, right to the camera. Let's do a quick point and shoot. Okay. Got shoes looking extra crispy. This camera's pretty sick, actually. We'll save that one. Let's go through the different modes. You got time lapse, which you can use wide angle or three time zoom. You got panorama. You got slow motion. You got video with super stable. All right, super steady. Change your flash HDR. Let's go to settings real quick. For video resolution, okay, you got 1080 all the way up to 4K, 60 frames per second. Okay, that's pretty dope. Photos, wide angle, all the way up to three times zoom. And you also have the macro lens. Let's see, um, let's see if I get something real quick. All right, <laughs> that's pretty sick. I right, got that cat eye on deck. You got portrait mode. All right, with your depth effect, you got Nightscape and Pro Mode. All right, so the camera app is nice and simple, very clean. All right, so now let's take a look at some of these cases. First up, we got the one that comes with the phone. Just a gel skin case with never settle on the back. We'll slap this one on real quick. Now this one has a little bit of razivity. All right, so it's going to protect the top, sides, and the bottom. Cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Now, one of the things I love about OnePlus phones, too, just like the iPhone, you got your vibrate, silent, and ring switch. All right, so when the phone is in your pocket, all right, and you're doing some scumbag activities, and you forgot to put your phone on silent, you don't have to take the phone out of your pocket, reach in your pocket, slide it up to silent, go about your business. Now you can see that little never settled on the back. I like that. Very subtle, but still savage. All right, let's keep it moving. Next up, we got the OnePlus 8 Sandstone Bumper in Cayenne. All right. Rah. Okay, did I just bust my finger open? All right. <laughs> oh, boy. Struggles, the struggles. All right, so this is the Sandstone. This one actually has that sandstone feel to it 
And I actually never seen the sandstone case in a different color from OnePlus. So this is a nice touch. We'll slap this one on real quick. Okay. And there it is. Now this one has, okay, I had to make sure I got it all the way on. A little bit of razivity on this one. Slam Boy certified. Let's check the buttons. There's your buttons, cutouts. Everything is in order. Protects the sides, top and the bottom. But this one has that sandpaper kind of feel to it. So it gives it a lot more grip. All right, so this might be the workout case. Let's keep it moving. We got one more. Last up, let's take it over to the carbon bumper case. All right, hold on, let me get, rah, one more, rah. Carbon bumper case. Now y'all know, after all of these years, this is still one of my favorite OnePlus cases. Basically just a carbon fiber look with a little OnePlus insignia on the back. OnePlus branding on the inside. Slap this one on, check the buttons. All right, there's your buttons. Look at that razivity. All right, you still got your curved screen. But that look. Woo! This is race car status right here. Now, there's one thing I forgot to check. Wireless charging. I still got to get used to saying wireless charging on a OnePlus phone. Yo, this is 2020. At least one good thing happened for 2020. All right, with all of this death and destruction out here, we got one good thing so far. We got a OnePlus phone with wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, water resistance, dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos, 120 hertz refresh rate, whilst, whilst using Quad HD display settings. This is a monster right here. Now, do I have to check wireless charging? I mean, I hate leaving stones un unturned. Let's make sure wireless charging. Now, you see that little lightning bolt? Y'all didn't see that? I'll do it again. I like the little animation that you get, too. Bomb. Warp charge. It's like, it's like Star Wars going into warp drive. I like that. We don't need to check the clear case. You already know that's going to work if the sandstone case works. Anyway, so far, fresh out of the box on a scale of 1 to 10. The OnePlus 8 Pro is a major, 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 major go. Now, if you're new to my channel, that's a quad major. That's the highest ranking that I give any product. This phone for a thousand bucks does everything that you need. Not to mention you got RAM overkill. I hate 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. One of the fastest displays on the market. One of the fastest face unlocks. One of the smoothest fingerprint sensors. Big, beautiful Quad HD display. 120 hertz refresh rate with the 240, uh, 240 hertz touch sampling. All right, so if you're into gaming, you're gonna like that. Silky smooth. If you ever bought a OnePlus phone, you already know. And you know, on a side note, that was kind of funny today when I pulled out this phone to do the video. When I pulled out this OnePlus 6, this phone is still running nice and smooth just like it was years ago. All right, so that's one of the things about buying a OnePlus phone that makes it worth the money, longevity. All right, you buy this phone in 2020 and 2021, 2022, it's still gonna be good. One of the smoothest, cleanest versions of Android, Oxygen OS, Dark Theme 2.0. This is an all around beast. All right, I can't wait to see the other colors. And I'm also gonna take a look at the OnePlus 8. We'll do that tomorrow. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And I'll upload some camera footage also this week. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out 
to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. Back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the OnePlus 8. 